uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so today we will be solving this uh, very interesting question okay so this can be asked for uh, interview and can be asked in your online assessment test okay so basically we have a switching capacitor circuit like we have two switches okay phi 1 and phi 2 and on capacitor c1 okay and uh, we need to find what is the average current through this terminal okay let's say this is i a okay and uh, the switches are non overlapping clocks with 50 percent duty cycle so i have made like this okay so we can see that this is a on time period from here to there and uh, this is non overlapping 25 percent duty cycle okay this and this okay and uh, uh, so, so so f and frequency f is nothing but on over t right okay on over this t and as you switches s1 or s2 are okay so this is phi 1 okay phi 1 and phi 2 phi 2 ideal okay ideal means when the switch is closed then it provides zero resistance okay zero resistance and when these switches are open this provides infinite impedance okay okay so they are given here okay so now let's solve it so we can see that <coughs> uh, up to uh, in this time duration from uh, uh, 0 to t by uh, let's say so this will be t by 4 right and this will be t by 2 right this section okay and let's say this is 3 t by 2 okay and this is t so now we can see that at t uh, like from uh, t equals 0 to t uh, t by 4 the circuit will looking like this right so this is our i a right and this is c1 and this is open okay so no matter okay now we can see that there is no resistance present in the circuit right so now what will be the current waveform you can see so we have a capacitor and we don't have a resistive path in between this capacitor okay so now we know that the circuit the in the in this circuit the current will be a impulse right like there will be infinite current okay we know that impulsive current right so the voltage at this node will change abruptly you also need okay let me draw the v so let's say v output plot as well okay so this is our i okay so this is our i plot i a and this is our v out plot okay let's do that so now we can we can uh, as like surely say that the there is a impulse current flowing through this circuit okay now what will be the amplitude of this impulse so we know that the we we are like we treat the impulse as a area right like we denote the uh, like uh, height as a area right so the area will be nothing but area is nothing but q right i into c so q is nothing but c into v so this will be nothing but c1 times v so here a impulse current flows through the flows through this branch i a okay flows through this branch so there is impulse of c on times v is the height or the weight of this impulse right now come second case now after that after that after means the when t greater than t by 4 and less than t by 2 and this case was t greater than 0 and less than t by 4 right so here in this case the this switch is closed and this switch is open right so circuit will be looking like this so this is v this is open circuit so this was charged to v voltage right so the the output the v out will be like sudden jump right so this will be v out v out is nothing but v on v itself okay so it will remain that okay now so we can see that and this switch is closed here now right so this is grounded so the capacitor c on will discharge through this path okay so the output will like the v out will be go to the zero volt instantly right because there is another a infinite current through this branch let's say this is ib okay ib ib current so ia and ib current is not same right so if we again plot ib so so ib will be nothing but a impulse okay and let's say the ia current was like this and ib current is like this okay so the current through this like the current through the capacitor so let's say this is ic as well okay and we are previously taking ic was plus i okay so now this case will be ic will be nothing but minus iv like the like the 
what I can say like yes IC will be nothing but here is like the opposite direction right so this will be minus IG and this is nothing but IB okay so basically the current if we plot IC IC okay IC itself this will be negative so this current will be a negative impulse okay and the the Q is nothing but the height so this will be nothing but C1 times B okay 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 this is the current through a okay the current through this branch only and this is the current through the b branch only okay okay let me differentiate it okay so this will be if this is positive i b like in this fashion okay this is c times b and if we plot i c okay then this will be like there is a impulse positive impulse and there is a negative impulse this is the i c okay and we are taking plus as in this direction okay so now so we can see that so now uh, the circuit having no charges right no closed path as well right because the circuit is both of the switches are open till this t right so the uh, the current will be remain zero here for this i a okay and the for i b as well the current will be remain here is zero and there again zero okay okay let me plot it here so this will be zero then is a if there is impulse and they get again zero okay up to t and for ic for ic current there is a positive impulse there is a negative impulse and then again zero okay so now this this cycle repeats okay then again we will be having we will be having an impulse of like this okay and v out is all like okay so v out we have to plot now so v out is close to zero instantly okay so then it remains zero up to up to that okay up to t okay so now so this are uh, this uh, like this cycle repeats like this okay so here we will be having this and repeats like this okay so here we will be having this okay so this will be this again repeats so there will be this this and again repeats to zero okay so now we have to find the average current through this branch a okay through this through this branch okay so now we know that the average current is nothing but average current is nothing but like the area of one cycle on time period on cycle i i should write and on time period on time period or this is you can write on time period okay on time period so you can see that for i a okay let me show the picture so there is like a like only one like current at a t equals zero plus only right we can see that so there is a like the uh, the area is nothing but q into cv so this will be nothing but cv itself right the area is nothing but cv so c1 times b okay and here our time period is nothing but t okay so on over time period is nothing but our frequency okay so this is the average current and this is in ampere okay so this is the final answer of this question so basically this there is many doubt of you i i know that because there is a impulse current so how to take the amplitude of this the height of this impulse current to make comment uh, like for, uh, like over these four options okay so according to me the options two will be our correct answer okay the average current depend on the capacitor capacitor value and the voltage value and the frequency of the uh, like two switches okay so this is the correct answer and here i have solved uh, like so many node currents and voltages so you can see that okay so if if you can make a, a one cycle correctly and it will repeat okay for the further cycles okay so thank you everyone this is a very tricky question uh, according to me so you can you can uh, like go to the solution uh, like in this fashion okay so thank you everyone you can put your valuable feedback thank you